All right, so a couple of videos ago, I had talked about how I didn't have a queen, and so I was right. But we also gained another box of bees, so we have to give two queens today. And I'll show you what's going on with the one hive and kind of explain as we go through. It's not gonna be a massive teardown. We're literally just going in, putting the bee, queen bees in, and then letting them be. That is the power of pheromones right there. Look at that. They cannot wait to get to that queen. We need to run the button and everything. Yep. You just gotta hold it? Yep. Did you let them know we were coming? No, I did not. All right. Hi. Stand about right there. I wouldn't stand right in front of the hive. Show you what happened here. User error. I'm just gonna pull this one frame out. Come close. So I don't know if you can see all the shiny stuff in here. But that's all um, sugar water that I put in. And what happened, so I've been told, is every single frame is filled like that. So what that means is the queen does not have anywhere to lay an egg. So we're honey bound, which I didn't know you could be honey bound nectar wise. So what we do here is get off of her. There's this candy and then there's a cork. So we're gonna pull this cork out. I'm gonna take my glove off and pull it out. And we put it in. Supposed to get through the candy first. Yeah, you gotta take the cork out so they can get to the candy. Oh, okay. And so they're gonna get to the candy. They're gonna eat their way to each other and let her out. So I don't really wanna take my glove off, but I'm going to. All right, so what we're going to do about the nectar issue is we're just going to stop feeding them and they're going to take the nectar in there and use it for whatever. And then in about a month, I'll start feeding them again. But I'm going to take this and sandwich it in between the frames and the heart of it and then let them do their bit. So if you want to focus right here. That's a lot of bees. That frame's got a lot of honey in it. So I don't really want to put it in the honey, right? Uh -uh. I don't know what it is. Nothing like drowning your, your new queen honey. I would say you probably want to put her on an internal frame where you got more brood than you do Yeah. just basic honey. Yeah. I'm going to put her in between these two because there wasn't a lot of honey and there's brood. So the theory, I got a feeling they're going to take to her pretty good. I mean, look at that. Look, y'all got to chill, dog. Back it up a little bit. There you
you go. And so I put it so, I sometimes you put them up and down, but I didn't want the candy to melt because it's so hot right now. So that's all we do, so. So the bees are a little mad right now, but wouldn't you be if somebody was like blowing smoke in your house and giving you a new mama and everything? But now I'm gonna show you the real queen put in another queen. It's the first time in history. Look at that queen. She's gone, boy. Mm. So smoke them down. I have the screen here. I'll smoke them down in a second. Yes, ma'am. So this is that extra hive that we got today. Let's look and see where we're gonna put her. Ideally, we'd wanna put her right here. So we just wanna see if there's any honey in those frames. Uh -huh. Push this in there too. Strap come with it. There you go. So you can see this one's got brood here, a little bit of nectar up here, so this is a good candidate for the top. There's not a lot of honey. What about on this one over here? That one looks good too. Okay. This one? Yeah, that one looks good. So we'll use those two frames. Yeah, we're having technical difficulties, everybody. <laughs> Down is right. Too. In the middle. In the oh, middle. I don't want to smash right that here. guy. Push, 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 push. There you go. There we go. Me too. Okay, you got the frame? Yeah, I got the frame. Trying not to pull a Dre and give him a murder as a case that they gave me, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna go the other side too. What you mean, this way? Yeah. I'll just take this one and mash it up against that one. Mashed. Do this side too. Oh, this one? Yeah. There you go. Alright. Now we're going to add the feeder board so they can get some nectar to keep building. The food's over there by the trellis. So that's one to one sugar water with some supplements in it. And that's just gonna help them build out more comb. Even though this these frames that we got have a fair amount of comb, that'll help get them some more comb. Tyler, buddy. Lady. What'd you think about that process? It's very squishy. Why There's is it not so a shiny? lot of space? Because I was sweating. <laughs> bad <laughs> it's only 93 degrees so there you go two hives ready to go is that the, it the cork was the hardest part was it the videos make it look easy yeah <laughs> yeah well that's not how that's not the story is it no all right so here's the situation here's what went down one i think the queen did not leave I believe I did what ultimately happens for a lot of beginners. I believe I killed her. Um, and when I thought I left a queen cell, I don't know what happened, but there was no queen cell. So she, there, they weren't building one, which means if they did build one, they'd have to have an egg, which I knew they were running low on. So I knew that it would be 21 days before there was a queen in the blue hive. So the blue hive, 21 days without a queen is not the end of the world, but 
based on what we're trying to do now is we're trying to get them to draw as much comb as possible and build up so they can make it through the winter. And so we can hit the ground running next year and put a honey super on that's already drawn and be able to collect honey next year. Cause I mean, that's what we're doing this for, right? We want to make honey. But my mentor at Warden's farm came over and he had some extra bees, just who's got bees laying around. And uh, he hooked us up with the other hives worth. So that's going to help out. So we made the decision to requeen. Now my initial judgment from the previous video, which I'll link to at the end when I found I didn't have a queen, I could have done a split if I had a queen cell already growing and everything. I could have done a split and still had to buy another queen, but we just made the decision in the interest of everything to kind of get it going, get this project underway so we could start getting honey sooner. So it just made sense for us to do this. But I mean, if you ever wonder what bees are like in your backyard, this is what I was worried it was going to be like. I'm not sure if you can see the amount of bees flying around, but they are just agitated. It's hot. And we basically, this hive right here just got pulled down the highway, moved in. It's been pulled apart. This one's been pulled apart twice. It's been worked on a lot. So they're kind of agitated and they're just flying around a lot. I thought it was going to be like that. I hardly ever see bees, which is cool. So I'm not really concerned about that anymore. And now the, the, what we're going to do now is we're not going to feed the blue hive for about a month, but we're going to continuously feed the orange hive and we're going to add on a honey super on the blue hive. And then we're going to add a medium brood box to the orange hive so they can continue to build out frames and combs. And if we have time, then we're going to add another super onto the orange hive. So at least next spring, if they build everything out, we should be able to get two honey supers of honey next year if everything goes good. So yeah, requeening the hive seems to be successful for now, but we'll find out in a couple days. I'll check on them in three days, make sure that she's not in the cage. And if she is, she's been taken out. And if she's not, then I will remove her or open the cork on the other end so she can walk out. And then we'll check on a couple more days and make sure that she's in the hive and she's laying. But as you can see, the bees were well ready to accept a new queen. So that's good to know. Um, so yeah, it's been a journey. I can tell you that much. Beekeeping is fun, interesting, and a little bit stressful, but not too bad. So we're waiting for the rewarding part, but there's still time for that. Good.